So to understand that the universe is speaking to you at all times, it's trying to connect with you. But the biggest problem is a lot of people, they misunderstand the signs, the meanings, what's actually going on. And if you are able to connect with the universe, to be more intuitive, enhance those powers, you're able to be able to manifest anything you want in life and get that guidance from your angels. Now today I have a very special guest here. Um, this is our superstar, Tina at Tina Reads You. Thank you for being here, Tina. Thank you, Master, for having me. Uh, and so today, um, I thought this topic would be perfect for Tina. Why? Because Tina does a lot of energy readings, <laughs> card readings, um, uh, even uh, full moon, new moon, understanding what's going on with all these energies. So it takes very strong, intuitive powers to be able to do that. And I know that a lot of people, they always say, how do I raise my vibrations, connect with the universe? How do I speak to the universe? How do I even know if the universe is speaking to me? <laughs> so what are a few things that you would say to that, first of all? Oh, that, that's a big question, huh? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people have been asking, and, and you know, the biggest, the biggest thing here is that we're always connected. Mm. And the biggest myth is that we are disconnected. Mm. So when we're talking about connection, we have to know that it's always there. And what I would say to that is just to be open and be aware that your channel is always open. You're always receiving messages, but are you paying attention to it? Mm. You know, say if you're looking at your phone and you only know what's going on on your mobile screen, but does, that, does it mean that your, the background is not there? Mm. Does it mean that your sofa is not there, your mom is not cooking food in the background, mm. your cat is not playing? It's, it's not. So that's awareness. Everything is there. Awareness and focus of intention and knowing that where you're focused, you know, that's actually what you're getting. Okay. So what about um, a lot of people? So you say, okay, wherever you focus on. Now, a lot of people are probably focusing on universe, speak to me. <laughs> like, universe, I'm trying to focus on you, you know, speak to me, I'm trying to connect with you, I'm trying to speak to you as well for my manifestation. So, they are trying to focus through it, but I think that the problem with, uh, with a lot of people is they don't know how to identify the difference, and that's why I always get a lot of questions from people mm -hmm. saying, Master, how do I know that it's, is it, am I really getting this message, or am I just making it up? Mm. So, how would you give an answer to that one? Mm. Oh, that is a very common question, actually. Mm. And you know, the thing is, we live in chaos every day. There's noises, there's the phone, there's the dogs, there's the cat, <laughs> you know, you name it. There's the traffic. So, there's so much noise and chaos and everything that's going on. So, first thing first, we need to understand how to silence the mind. Mm. And why to silence the mind? Because mind is clutter, always thinking, what should I do next? What should I have for lunch? Should I have this? Should I have that? There's so much going on. And you know, if you just, I like, I'm a visual person. So when you imagine this message, dun, 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 if it's going through and then your mind is all of this, how can you interpret it? Mm. And, and, and your intuition is always here. It's in this area right here. You have to feel it. You can't really just get it from here mm. because it's actually coming right here but to pass through that channel you have to make sure that the the channel of the mind is actually clear so you know doing breath work slowing things down clearing your mind cleaning the the, the clutter is actually a very important thing when it comes to accurately mm. interpret uh, interpreting the messages mm. Mm -hmm. i like what you're saying there and i can really resonate with it because um that's also the same reason why in our space we have a lot of protocols where we have uh, team members who are protecting the energy protecting the space and making sure that in this head there's not too much going <laughs> on and not everybody's non-stop asking master this master this and all the rest of it um, but what i do recognize from uh spending the last like what 10 12 days with you is that um you really know how to protect your energies in a sense that you, you manage your space well. Like you have your time, you have your peace, and let's say even if there's things going on and you feel, oh, it's a moment that you need, it's getting a little bit cluttered, you will go into your corner, go into your room, and then you'll deal with and manage your own energy. Is yeah. that correct? Oh my gosh, that is totally me <laughs> and a lot of people don't know this about me they're like oh tina i always hear you talking and speaking your personality is so bubbly but actually, in front of camera in front of camera <laughs> but if you actually meet me in person mm. I'm, I'm i'm quite introverted and quite always hiding <laughs> quite, always hiding that's yeah. right actually that, that that's really interesting because it really relates to also how, how i observe gem goddess as well mm. 
Mm. Exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, always hiding. <laughs> yeah. And you know, if you work with energy and you know that you're very empathic, you're very sensitive to the energy, mm. it's like you have this antenna that's always ringing. Mm. It's chaos. Mm. <laughs> it, it, it's crazy. So it's important to tune in, mm. ground, stay connected, and know when you need that time, when you need to actually take yourself out of the chaos mm. and knowing that you have to honor your divine feminine. Mm. And I always choose to do that mm. because otherwise I just go into the mess. <laughs> and okay, I, speak a little bit on that one. Honoring the divine feminine. <laughs> For those people who are, don't have a clue, what does that mean? How do they honor their divine feminine? Oh, mm. I, I love talking about the divine feminine because, you know, we're always creatures of doing and taking action, which is amazing. Mm. But the thing is, what happens to that divine feminine energy. The divine masculine is the doing, the making things happen, which is amazing. But the, the feminine is where we get to be, is where we get to create from, mm. is where we get to actually receive and like, huh, I receive all these messages, now I know what to do with this. So first the divine feminine and then the divine masculine. Mm. So I always create space and time to integrate the downloads, I'm always receiving things. But if I'm just doing aimlessly, my energies get dispersed. Mm. So what I would recommend for people is to really honor their divine feminine. Mm. Taking that time, that space to really ground, to really be, to really understand what is this download telling you to do, guiding you to do, and then you do it. I recently got a question that's uh, kind of related to what we're saying here is, um, Somebody who had asked, they said, okay, so Master, you're saying stay away from all these different energies, try to protect your energies, manage your energies, get away from all the chaos and things like that. And, and what this guy was asking, he said, but I have a lot of friends who they go out, they're going out partying, they're going out for networking uh, parties, they're going out for a meal with their friends. And he says that he always feels like he's missing out. Does, like, do you, what his question was, do I really have to miss out on all of this? Like, it feels like I can't live life anymore if I'm trying to protect my energies. What do you have to say to that? <laughs> FOMO, huh? <laughs> Fear of missing out, that's a big one. Well, you know, it's all about what are you getting? Um, what, what, what are you looking for, right? Mm. It's like, are you looking for just do, 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 mm. spend time with your friends, you know, this party is important for you. Is your energy is calling you to it. Mm. And, you know, I always say create and do things from love and not fear, you know, not fear of missing out. Mm. It's because, wow, I really feel passionate. I feel really excited to be here. I feel like I'm meant to be here. Mm. It's that excitement that drives you. Mm. That's where the magic happens. That's your intuition driving you there. Mm. You have to listen to that excitement. Mm. And if you're just like, oh, I'm scared. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing out. Mm. You know, that's just so much fear driven, uh, driven mm. and it might not lead you to actually where you need to be. Mm. So just all, it's all about being mindful about what your body is telling you to do. I think it's very important what you just said there is that it's, it's, it's down to what the individual actually wants. You, you need to choose, you choose your life. So if you are really called towards being more intuitive, if you're really called towards wanting to become more connected, then you shouldn't be torn between there's a party going on, how do I go to the party and be, be this at the same time. So I think that everything in life is always about balance mm -hmm. and I think it's important for people to get that, um, that sort of balance. Now, here's another question that I think um, uh, will be kind of the next questions that people will ask. Okay, cool. So let's say one was to totally be by themselves, no clutter, no mobile phones, no nothing, no chaos <laughs> going on, no thoughts going on, right? Now, then when it comes to the intuition side, how would you explain how the universe is being, it doesn't say, hey, Tina, go eat now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tina, say this, you know. How would you explain or describe the communication between you and the universe? Like, where, what does it sound like, feel like, and how is it expressed? Mm, I, I think that's a very good question, actually. And, and I think you, you, you touched on a very important point is when we're actually quiet, how do we receive? Okay, so quiet, you know you're receiving, your vessel's ready, but how you know if it's the universe speaking to you? So actually I was working with a group of beautiful women um, and we were working through intuition. How that really works is 
when you quiet your mind, when you empty your, your channel or open your channel, what happens here is you have to be open to receive. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the most important thing. If you're like, okay, yeah, I'm ready, or okay, now what, right? Are you actually open? So just set that intention, I am open to receive without expectation. Because maybe the message is no message. The message can be a sound, a picture, an image, a feeling, a color. So allow whatever to come in to come in. Yes. But just be open to whatever it is that will come in. Oh, being so open. because It can come in so many ways. And again, you know, sometimes it shows up, it makes no sense. It's like, why am I seeing purple? What is that supposed to mean? And maybe, you know, the day after you're walking into a store and you see the man of your dreams and he's wearing a purple shirt. Mm -hmm. It's like, ah, that's why mm -hmm. I'm drawn towards the color purple. So just be open to whatever the messages can come in as. Can be an animal, can be a person, mm -hmm. can be an alien, you know, can be <laughs> anything. So just be open. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. And just so that uh, we can wrap this uh, section off, right? If, we, if you were to now tap into the energy frequency of what the collective is asking, feeling right now if you were to channel that right now what would your final message be to everybody who's listening right now what are you feeling so right now what i'm feeling is that the collective is ready people are ready to step up people are ready to unleash their true potential people are ready for more people are ready to tap into who they truly are but maybe right now they don't have the tools the equipment, <laughs> the how-to. And this is when they create all these confusion, doubtful. I'm not sure, is it really for me? I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I just know I'm ready for more, but I don't know what I'm ready for. So that's what I'm getting right here, right now, knowing that we are waking up, knowing that we are powerful. And sometimes the magic happens is when you step outside of your comfort zone. And it's not really the unknown. Don't even call it the unknown. Call it the magic zone. Call it the miracle zone. Give it a sexy name. Give it a fun name. <laughs> so that you can open that door, step into that space, step into that fairyland, because that's where the magic happens. That's where you belong. Infinite potential. Step into it. Beautiful. Mic drop on that one. <laughs> that's a spiritual riff. Uh, Tina reads you edition, that is. <laughs> so first of all, thank you, Tina. Thank you for sharing your love, your light, your knowledge on this channel. Uh, appreciate you. you and listen. those of you who uh, enjoyed this video, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button if you got anything out of it whatsoever. Also, make sure if you are not already following Tina's channel, I'm going to put it in the first link in the description. Make sure to uh, hit that link and make sure to give it a subscribe um, because she's literally doing a lot of energy readings every single day to make sure you are aligned with your dreams, your goals, your manifestations, so you know how to also overcome some of the challenges that you're facing right now. So make sure to click that link and give it a subscribe and also comment below let us know where you guys have tuned in from that's always nice to know and finally if you're new to this channel and you haven't already remember remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it that's a little bell sign by the way because this year we're dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet but for now guys we're both signing out namaste ciao